Hello YouTubesters. I don't normally make YouTube videos but I thought this video might be helpful to other flat earthers that are trying to figure out what's been going on with this Mandela effect. As kind of a reference point I'm going to focus mostly on map changes so you know we could all see how things have changed kind of together and the more reference points we have maybe the more easily it will be to figure this out I know it's been helpful to me going through this types of things so um, I'd kinda like to start off with the biggest thing I've noticed which is the New York City thing okay let's go here let's get rid of that and zoom in. But first I would like to mention because I've heard people mention this bridge now in my reality or at least my memory in my reality this bridge was always here when I was um, a kid it was a brand new bridge so if this bridge is not in your memory then you're from a different reality than than I okay now I've categorized three different kinds of people possibly four that I've noticed since the change but I'll get into that later let's just look at some of the changes that I've noticed some of the bigger ones and I have to mention the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island were never right here a stone throws distance away from the New Jersey Shore well maybe that's not a stone throw but it's very close here we got New Jersey here we got New York now in my memory this was always a attraction a tourist attraction for New York City and I guess now it's New Jersey I, I don't know what the heck's going on okay so that's major and I'd like to point this bridge out I don't remember a bridge I don't even uh, remember it being this close to where it would even be possible to make a bridge to such a small island I mean I'm sure yeah it's possible but it's like why okay be, you know that would have just had to have been way too long so that's changed um, let's head up the river N another change I've noticed here let's go, all right there it is is Roosevelt Island okay Roosevelt Island has changed it it's now shaped like a boat yeah it looks like a boat going through the water I mean, that's different all right I, I notice these differences because this is the area I used to live in you know I came from this area all right this has changed and this brings me to the to the place where um, I want to talk about the three different people now one are people like me which are the most rare because I have not talked to anyone in my walk of life that is like me that are seeing these changes okay but I have seen people watching YouTube videos that are aware of it so I know they exist but people I talk to are usually the variety where I'm not gonna say their memories were altered I'm just gonna say their memories have been fogged okay so that's other than me that's the second category of people their memories have been fogged two people I I could bring up in particular my wife and a friend of mine that I work with sometimes both my wife and this person are the kind of people that you would consider as trivia buffs I would always ask them questions about this if I didn't know a, a certain thing 
but when I ask them all the trivial things that mostly is that mostly is buzzing around on this internet about the Mandela effect, like the um, the Disney stuff and the movie changes, they don't seem to remember it. Their memory has been fogged somehow, which I I find extremely strange. And then they go to verify on the internet and then they quickly accept what they see because their memories have been fogged in those areas but I clearly remember this stuff to be different I'm talking about you know stuff like the um, the Disney movie stuff and the movie title changes you know and I and all that kind of thing that that kind of thing is very clear in my memory especially the the Star Wars thing now the Star Wars thing I actually have that in my database so I went back to watch it again just to be sure but in my very own database it has changed to no it's no longer Luke although I know it used to be Luke it, it's not now and right here sitting beside me you can't see it because I'm I'm doing this video screen I have a globe that lights up I used to have it plugged in but now it's up here in the corner on the shelf but I looked at that globe and that's when I first noticed I noticed the changes so things that are sitting right next to me have changed okay so these these changes have happened right next to where I'm sitting and stuff in my database so I, I, I like to note that now here's another change I need to know is is Governor's Island okay um, less than two years ago I went on a cruise and we sailed right past this island and the whole time I'm snapping pictures and when we got to this island I started snapping pictures of this island some zoomed in some zoomed out and this island didn't look like this it was smaller much smaller and it had only one major structure on it it looked I assumed it was the old governor's mansion that was abandoned you could actually see when when I had the camera zoomed in that the windows and stuff were boarded in and around it was just all this overgrown growth it was not this big but now when you zoom in you see there's a town here there's houses this looks like apartment complexes this weird thing here you know I'm sure none of that was there that's not the island I saw when I passed it and oddly enough I went back into my database now those were on my laptop I never put them over into here so I went on my laptop to look for those pictures they weren't there they were not there there was a few pictures that I don't know why they were there um, because they really didn't display anything I couldn't figure out why I would snap them but I could not find the pictures of Governor's Island although I'm sure I took them okay one other major change here we go it's this park okay this park here when when I lived here uh, me and a friend of mine used to bring our remote control cars that we built to this park and race them around because they had all these paved pathways okay now the park is very much different now it used to be you could walk to the edge of the water and there was actually a rail and you could bend over the railing and actually spit right into the water without crossing any highways or anything 
which you clearly can't do now unless you just walked under a tunnel or something but clearly this is not part of the park anymore so that's changed let me back up a little bit look how far I have to go back just to get a view of the Statue of Liberty so I used to go to the water's edge and plainly see quite clearly the Statue of Liberty which now if you were to do that it would be difficult to see it be a very tiny thing you can see this is very far away I mean that was one of the things people used to go to this park so they could see the statue okay you I don't think that would be a major attraction of this park anymore so the something has changed there obviously okay now we talked about the first person the people that are seeing what's going on they they know the some type of shift has happened that's one and then there's two the people that's had their memories fogged but you're sure they're from you're sure that they are from your reality they just can't remember certain things and they they're usually just related to shift things and the third type are people that and I believe they're all people that are from areas like this where major geographical changes have taken place I believe that all these people are from in fact different realities they are not the same people the reason for the reason why I believe this and I speculate this anyway because you're not gonna wake up one day and look out your window and see that you know these things have completely moved without completely freaking out and it being all over the place it's just not gonna happen I mean there's a lot of changes here in this area alone and I think all these people in this area have also been changed they now fit the mold of this area I believe because in this area here where my brother and sister live I believe they are among those people and my brother and my sister I do not believe they are any more the same people that I grew up with and I'm saying that not because I've I've talked to them about the subject I wouldn't because they would never understand but just because of the things they've done in the past couple of months I don't believe if they were the people that I used to know they would have done these things and in, until I fell upon this Mandela effect here it was it was very strange to me but now it makes a little more sense okay so now possibly there's a, a fourth now like I mentioned this bridge people are saying that some people will testify to the fact that this bridge was never here the Verrazano Narrows bridge but in my reality it was so if someone that there's got to be a, uh, even a fourth type of person that has come from a reality not like mine but has found themselves in this okay I haven't actually come across any of those people but if what people are saying about this bridge is true that you know must be the case okay now let's look at other geographical changes here pop there and I first want to talk about something that I haven't heard anyone else mention and that would be that Alaska and Russia or the United States and Russia through Alaska one time shared a land border and that's clearly not the case now 
I know this to be fact because when I was in fifth or sixth grade one of the kids actually brought that up and I've seen it personally on a map before okay this used to look very different there was a lot of land up here somehow that this was a continent you know and this there was a connection here and there was actually a movie in the late 80s or early 80s late 70s um, about Russians coming over that border I, I believe it was called World War three don't remember much about the movies you know how TV movies are they're pretty stupid but that's a big notice that I've seen that I haven't heard anyone else mention what do I, else do I have here now there's Cuba now there's a couple of things that I've noticed about Cuba and that is like here it looks like you could just get in a boat and you would right away be in the Gulf of Mexico I don't remember it being that way I remember Cuba being a little more away from stuff maybe off in this direction it looked I thought it was more oval shaped like a fat cigar kind of shaped thing when I was down in this area a few years ago I looked at this area because I you know I just knew I was going to be sailing around here so I just wanted to see what things looked like nearby Okay, now here's the Arctic again clearly nothing here I'd like to mention the movie the Polar Express I need to find that movie it's in my database somewhere and review it maybe I should have did it before I did this video but if that has changed that would probably make a pretty good video maybe I'll let someone who knows how to do this better than me tackle that but um, the Polar Express yeah I wonder if that movie has changed um, I need to find more do I have something open yeah right here alright you could probably alright definitely China in my historical memory in my memory of history was a very very large country and there was no Mongolia I have to do some research on Mongolia I don't even know if it's a country it, in every map I look at it's always bordered out and a different color like a different country and you know you used to be able to take China cut it out move it over here and it would completely cover this whole area you wouldn't see the United States I mean China was big as big if not bigger than Russia at least that's how I remember it all I could say about Australia is um, you know it must have recently got a whole lot colder over there because look how close it is to the Arctic Antarctica I mean it's it's right there now it's and I can't be sure about this but I don't know maybe it was two pieces is New Zealand was always New Zealand two islands and wasn't it over here wasn't it like here somewhere or maybe I was I'm thinking of this I don't know I, I just don't know it, it's hard to all right what else well that's all I've really noticed about map changes that stand out to me anyway okay we talked about maps we talked about the different kinds of people um, 
I heard somebody mention about how they used to do um, GTA mods and I kind of have a interesting story about that I used to do the same thing uh, I was replacing all the cars in San Andreas with you know better ones and I, I put a Grand National in there Grand Nationals were my favorite kind of cars in the day and I haven't actually seen one in many years at this time this was a few years ago that I had done this and after I did it and put it in the game I went into the game and I searched all through the game to try to find the car and I couldn't I traveled to all the places on the map and I couldn't find it and I was taking a long time doing it so I finally had to you know get ready to leave and go home up north and as soon as the screen door slammed behind me I heard a sound I looked over and coming down the side street was a Grand National and I haven't seen one in years I, I just thought that was extremely strange to see that at that moment but I, I thought I'd bring that up okay I'm trying to keep this video a bit short but I wanted to mention the, the, the land that I've noticed that have changed. And one of the strangest things is up here. And of course the strangest is the New York City thing. Okay, so I, I thought I'd point that out to people. And are these things changed to you? And do you remember Alaska? and Russia touching because I do okay that's all I have